He's actually just... It looks like a straight upgrade over Guy. Admittedly, Guy does have... Or he does have four levels on Guy, but... If I wasn't already attached to Guy, I would definitely trade him out, because stats... Don't lie, and stats say that man is incredible. Very annoying. Someone that I've been raising up is just... Could easily be replaced by someone in the later chapters, but that's how these games go sometimes. Hey, roll the mist. Plan must be carried out tonight, Mother. Just once, if only for a little while. May I hold your hand? You know, you know how I abhor such display. I know. I may not get another chance, and I thought... Very well. Huh? You complete this mission. I'll hold your hand as often as you like. I'll even hug you and stroke your face. Oh, really? I must do my best. I will. I will succeed. Wait for me, Mother. I will. Be careful. Alright, I'll be back. Hide far. Wait here for a moment. About tonight's mission, what is it? Don't you kill the prince? Kill Neat No 2. God, I forgot that. <laughs> oh, man! They really just have to go over the top with the whole evil thing. I don't understand it, but if you really want to make them hate a character... Wow, that's an effective way to do it. We're a mist. The lights have been doused. Then of fighting, what's going on? I don't know, but if they're still fighting, we might not be too late. Let's hurry, Elwood. We have to get inside. We must protect the prince. Okay, what do we got for an augury? I do love how the we it's very important how long this is going to take. And yet we decided to take some time, plan our strategy, trade out some items, have an augury even. Maybe a light supper, and then we'll get to the battle. Sonia, le le leave me a cursed puppet. Lord Nurgle, ah, help me. Puppet have no essence to harvest. No longer have any use to Lord Nurgle. What? What did you... What are you? I'm human. I don't understand. All she had to do was look in a mirror to see she looked identical to the other guy. And notice, hey, maybe if he's a puppet, I might be as well. But no, I guess her vanity was just way too large to ever possibly consider that she could be anything but. Remember what I just said about not giving her a bunch of experience because she's already near max level? I don't want to accidentally waste any as it turns out uh i am not very smart and just keep sending her into battle like to my powers here and now you may choose in any end obey me or if i go with you will you let my brother go in if you should prove sufficient as you wish oh ninian why seriously we have him outnumbered and outgunned i think we can take him you don't really need to sacrifice yourself right now Yes, the plot demands it, but it may cost us a person or two, or we just send in Florinian because she is, like, ridiculously overpowered right now, and I think we got this in the bag. And finally, I will note I'm not a huge fan of this promotion so late in the game. Yes, I get in other playthroughs you can promote him earlier because he might not be your primary character, but in this playthrough he is. And we just finished chapter 27. There's only like three or four more chapters left. So why do it now? Which means he's never going to be your best unit. Ever. I've got, what, five or six units that are above level 10. Some of them near max level. He's like the 10th man on my roster. and He's supposed to be the protagonist. If you're going to make them the main character, don't delay it so they become weaker than everybody else. If Sorlin's warriors kill, or I'll cut you down where you st Oh my god! Well, that was very close. Luckily, the other bad guy missed, because that could have ended incredibly poorly. Holy cow. Then again! Once again, someone he cares about has fallen in his arms. There's only one man to blame. Good news is, I get to stab him in the very near future. Therefore, ring you. I'm fine now. For now, stop sulking and come out. Now you're there. Huh? What? Stop skulking and come out. Makes a little more sense. I mean, he's probably sulking too, being told that he is not going to live past tomorrow because of the power he's been imbued with and to die for his master and all that nonsense. But, skulking. That makes sense. Okay, final chapter, Light. 
This is a tough one. Hopefully it's as tough as I remember. Otherwise, child me is just an idiot. Which I'm not, not too unexpected, considering I likely skipped a bunch of the side chapters, and some of them are not overly familiar to me. At the very least, they made the final weapon suitably epic. Because until now, they kind of sucked, because the massive weight made it so we couldn't double attack. But now, because this thing is highly resistant to everything except for the legendary weapons, we get something out of it, at least. Even though it's only one attack at a time. Okay. And the final blow here, done by Elwood himself. I am glad, of course, this final fight, as I said earlier, it actually was difficult. To do it without losing a single individual, that definitely took a lot. Had to carefully position all my units, had to make sure everybody did well. This final fight, I had to chip, pump out a ton of healing. So yes, my younger self wasn't bad at the game. It's just a difficult final encounter. We knew it was forbidden. Yet we answered it, Nurgle's call and opened the gate. We didn't intend to stay long, just to see home one last time. I really wish I could pass forward this dialogue because this is awful. Nurgle captured us and it led to this. I don't read this slow. No one reads this. I guess small children, maybe. My goodness, small children can beat this last chapter. We almost took control of the continents. That was our right. Never considered. Fear what drove us away. A little faster would be brilliant. We'll replace Marcus as the most famed knight in all foray. The endless zeal served foray well. Throughout his life, I totally forgot he existed. Don't get me wrong. It's going to happen for a lot of these guys. Because I didn't use a lot of them. Because I knew I'd be limited towards the end. They should vanish after the final battle. Baron, I see a tree are all sought skills. And I never found the tactician. Seriously? He's kind of dumb. Like I want to live out my days well deserved in retirement. Earning all sorts of bonuses. Gold, rest, and women. What more could one ask for? Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Feel free to follow links down below if you want to see some of my content, and I will see you all next time.